Good afternoon and welcome to Perry World House. Tonight's program is exemplary uh, of the kind of, of uh, activity we seek to bring to Penn's campus. The task force concludes that, quote, there's nothing inevitable or unfixable about what ails the states of the Middle East. That the task force was led by distinguished statespersons of both parties gives us hope that perhaps there's nothing inevitable or unfixable about the political polarization within our own country, too. Well, I think the importance of the Middle East is that it's a crisis of the region that is coming out of the region and affecting all of us. This will end, and the question is how to help in getting a political settlement, that is part of it, and trying to get allies to work with us. We are at a critical point, an inflection point. The world is changing and America's role in it is changing. And I think it needs to start from the bottom up and I think it needs to start especially from students. And one of the things we've learned is that the questions that we're getting from the students are much better than most of the questions that are being asked in Washington. And they're a lot harder. My question is, at the time of Trump's travel ban, the website Vox released an article entitled Trump's Muslim ban is a huge gift to ISIS. I'm wondering what I, a high school senior, can do to change what I don't like coming from our president, and specifically how I can impact policies that I find ridiculous like this travel ban. You know, if your generation all turns out and votes at the 80% level, you can dictate the results. Uh, and I think that you, as the, the newest generation, can really show that the greatness of America is our diversity and taking people in. So what would you advise young Muslims and immigrants to get through the Trump administration and to have hope? They have given me and they've given all the people here today hope that uh, you know, we can change. You know, this is the generation that can change and that the Middle East definitely still can change. But one of the things we really did want to do, and we're doing it with the Poster Center, is to get out and talk to Americans to explain exactly why it's important to us uh, and get all of you thinking about it so you are part of how we develop the trust. I feel empowered. I, I do feel like like talking to someone like Madeleine Albright, to be like addressed directly, it, it just made me feel like like I do, like the weight is on my shoulders. But I thought it was also really cool to just, to see that like we are important, that the youth are important and that we do matter. It made me feel like I could um, do more because these people were giving me their time and it made the government seem a little more accessible to the people. And I think that they began to see that they would be the decision makers uh, and those that form the policy. I am in many ways jealous of all you younger people because you are going to be here at a time when the system is being um, recharged in a different way. Someone said that the genius of America is that it reinvents itself after periods of turmoil and discussion. We're in one of those periods of turmoil now. Uh, and, but there is the possibility that Americans talking with one another, uh, taking on these issues, that you will, you will be able to reinvent this country. Thank you so much for coming to our school, but also thank you for showing us uh, that two different opinions can also come together to make a situation better.